What's up guys, Joe Antonelli here, and I'm out filming the Pompano Mastery course with Salt Strong, which covers every single thing you need to know. Uh, do you got one tip for you guys? I wanna share this one for you. It is a Pompano jig. So when you go out Pompano fishing, usually you set your rods, you throw them out there, you throw sand fleas, clam, shrimp, whatever you're using that day. Um, and then you sit around. But while you're sitting around, why not grab the ultralight rod and a Pompano jig, and you throw that out. So you get these rods out there, We're going to just go off to the side of them and work this goofy jig. And one of the cool things about the pompano jig is I've caught everything on this from pompano to jacks to snook to redfish and just everything eats it. You're just going to wing it out there real far and you're going to work the bottom with it. It's going to be kind of like a sand flea or shrimp, something bumping the bottom. So. It's on the bottom, you're just gonna do quick little jigs. And absolutely everything eats this. It's just something cool to kind of help pass the time even if nothing else, but it can be a very consistent way to catch more fish while you're out on the beach pompano fishing. Some days they really key in on the jig. So we're gonna bomb it out there into the surf. And you really like to keep contact with the bottom. So as you start to reel it, you can feel it dragging. You know you're on the bottom. You just want to give it a little pop. And then it's back on the bottom again. Give it another pop. And you'll see what they like. Some days they want it moving a little faster, some days slower, some days just dragging it and sometimes popping it more. It's just like any other kind of fishing. Just keep changing up your tactics till you figure out what's working that day. And the jig can be a really fun way and a really productive way to get some nice pompano or lots of other species in the, it, on the hook and catch them and have some fun while you're waiting. Once it starts getting into that trough area, kind of past that, uh, just kind of reel it back in and bomb it back out there. So here's the jig. We have it tied on with a loop knot. And as this thing's bouncing, it's hitting the bottom, knocking up a bunch of sand, dragging it a little bit, and then bouncing it back up again, and then hitting the bottom. Doing just what a shrimp would do if it was jumping across the bottom or a sand flea crawling around out there. That little simple lead jig gets the job done. All right, so I hope you guys like that tip. If you wanna see the rest of the course and all the other tips that we have in there, I'll put a link down below so you guys can check that out. And thank you very much for watching.